What's going on world? It's another episode of Sneak Peek there on your screen. I'm your host George Kill. Glad you tuned in. So far in season four, in which we call the season of first, we featured the first professional skater, the first retired athlete, and the first episode filmed outside of a home. So in episode four, we break ground yet again, this time featuring the first ever female Olympic gold medalist, Allison Felix. Now you'll see some impressive shoes here, but what's crazy is the actual built-in setup. Check it out. All right, Nice Kids fam, we're out here in LA again, this time with Olympic gold medalist, track and field, Allison Felix, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Now, you know you're the first lady of Sneak Peek. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I know you have them in there. I have a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go check them out. All right. Okay, so this is uh, my collection, and most of it is really focused on just stuff that I couldn't get when I was younger. Fell in love with Jordans, with the playoffs, the playoff 11s. And at the time, I remember me and my brother took a picture. Somebody at church had a pair, and neither of us, you know, at the time could get them. And we took a picture of them, and so that's really what set it off for me. When I first signed my first contract, I was with Adidas, and I was with them for about six years. So I couldn't really collect because I couldn't wear them. So when I got with Nike, that's when I really started to pick up the shoes that I had always wanted. And they're just kind of set up in order, ones. Um, I don't really have a lot of twos, but threes, fours, they go all the way down and have some Kobe's, some KD's, some LeBron's, and some other stuff sprinkled throughout there. Starting over here, I have one through 15, some of my favorites I'm set up. The playoffs started off my love for Jordans, but my first pair, fifth grade basketball, for the Grant Hills. That was the first time that I was actually able to get a shoe. So I had to get those when they came back out. And I remember I was going back and forth between those and J Kids. And so now I'm able to get them both, but I had chose the Grant Hills at the time. And from there on, that's when I kind of fell in love, started collecting. I love threes. Um, so I have those. My favorite player is probably the Cements. I wear these, you can tell I wear these a lot. <laughs> Nike knows that I love Jordans and have great reps over there. So they sent me this pair has my logo on them, the AF. So they always take care of me over there. Of course, I talked about how 11s are some of my favorite and just got these, the Gamma Blues. And I got the, the AF on them too, so. Since you're the first lady of mm -hmm. Sneak Peek, what's something that we could find in your closet that we couldn't find in males' closets? Oh, hmm. Probably the tens. You know, they only came out in the, the smaller sizes. So those are always fun to pick up. And then I have the, I don't really wear these. I don't think I've worn them at all yet, but I have the sky highs, lots of different colorways in those. I love the Tiffany colorways. Have the, the tens, Tiffany's, I really like them. They're really feminine, can do a lot with them. I believe I got these at the employee store a while back, I think when I had first signed with Nike. Um, I like, I don't wear a ton of LeBrons, but I like these cause you know, they're lower. Um, and they, to me, they just look like a nice clean shoe. And I know a lot of the guys talk about the shoes that they play basketball in. Um, these are some of the shoes that I run in. When I first went to Nike, that was one of the really cool processes, being able to collaborate with them on just coming up with the best shoe, you know, something really innovative. And I remember the first time I met Tinker, it was just, you know, awesome. And, just blown away up there, but we've come up with some really cool stuff. So this is kind of where we started out with, it has my logo on it, um, just kind of a more fun shoe. And then these are the ones I wore in London, super light, um, really the upper fits to your foot like a glove and have my, my logos on them in there. And I wore these this past year, it's just very similar. Speaking of gloves, like I'm seeing a glove oh, yeah. over there and it's not the most recent one. <laughs> so my gloves, there's a story behind these. So I've got the <laughs> super busted pair, but these were the pair that um, really started everything for me. I was playing basketball in ninth grade wearing these um, and knew nothing about track at all. Went out for the track team in these. <laughs> um, my coach, he was timing 
he was doing like 60 meter sprints and he was timing, I was wearing these and he kept looking at the time like, you know, it's kind of quick, kept remeasuring it, kept having me run. Um, and that's where I realized I had some talent, but it all started with these pairs. So had to get them when they re-released, but I always keep these around to remember my humble beginnings. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite Nike athletes? Because, I mean, Nike has a ton of athletes mm -hmm. from Paul Rodriguez to Kevin Durant. Yeah. Who are some of your favorite? Um, probably my favorite just as an athlete and a competitor is Kobe. Just because, you know, the heart that he plays with and determination. Of course, LeBron is, you know, absolutely great to watch. Um, let's see, Serena, you know, she's someone who I definitely enjoy watch competing. Uh, there's just so many, you know, there's lots of females, Maria Sharapova. Um, yeah, so lots of different ones, you know, I like to get out there and support them. Yeah, and out of all the uh, basketball ones, Kobe is your favorite as far as shoes? As far as shoes, yeah. I, I love Kobe's. I went to USC, so of course I have a lot of shoes. These are ID'd. They have my number I wore in basketball, like the glass bombs too, these ones. And then I like just the fun things that they do with them. You know, some of the newer ones, Pit Vipers and the Mind Grays. And then I spend so much time in Europe that, you know, soccer inspired Kobe. It's really cool. I also have some LeBrons and KDs, Breast Cancer, Aunt Pearls, um, USAs, had to do those. We have a section on a uh, nice kick called my five where we ask the person what are the five shoes in their current rotation mm -hmm. and why okay so give me your five my five um right now let's see what am i wearing well the semen threes are always in my rotation um i've been wearing these a little bit the glows the fours just because they're newer really like those um, ones, I love ones, like getting the SC thing. So, those. Recently, I was wearing these Kobe Mind Grays, and I think I'm gonna be wearing these. <laughs> Haven't worn them yet, but the, the KDs, PB and J, those are fun. I'm not too big into foams, but I had to do the Paranormans, so those are fun. I think they look way better on guys, but. <laughs> I have a few pairs of those. And the, the 13s, I have some of those. The he Got Games and the Flints. So the gold medal pack is obviously kind of special to me. Um, got these right after the Olympics, so I was able to wear those with my actual gold medal. And I actually took my Olympic sixes to the Olympics and did some, um, some fun pictures with those. And right after I got my medal, we did a shoot with these in, in my gold medal, so. What do you think about the Yeezy 2 versus the 1? Um, I don't have the 1s, um, but I think that, you know, I would definitely like to pick those up um, of the 2s just because I, cause I have them. <laughs> I didn't really care for the black because it, to me they were, I don't know, more for a guy. So I like the lighter colorway. So now I'll take you to my other closet where I keep a lot of my running shoes. So um, in here I just have a lot of the shoes that I'm actually, that I actually wear to run in. Um, I'm a big fan of the Flyknits, the Lunars. Um, I love these to run in. These are just a lot of different colorways. These ones are really cool. These are the ones that we wore in the Olympics on the medal stand. So they have the USA and they say home of the brave, land of the free in them. So those are nice. Um, Hyperfills, really different, but a cool shoe the waffle bottom. To me, it really looks like a performance type shoe, you know, something really serious, like you'd see someone racing in, but it's cool. It's like an everyday person could wear this. Um, you could wear it on the street. It's really light, um, fits to your foot nice, so I like them. And then this is my favorite shoe to run in all time. Um, fly knit free, it's awesome. It's like a sock, completely fits to your foot. To me, it's my ideal running shoe. So I have a lot of different colors with those. Um, and then in talking with Nike about how much I love these, we actually developed a spike that is pretty much the exact same thing. It has the fly knit upper and put a spike plate on it. It is the lightest shoe. Um, it's pretty amazing. So 
it's kind of like running barefoot. And other than that, I have some like Tiffany Lunars down here that were from the San Francisco Marathon. Um, and just like Liberty Collection stuff. I think this is Eric Colston's shoe. So just some random things in here as well. What do you think about the time you spent with Tinker? How was it? Uh, like getting to sit was, with that mastermind? It was pretty amazing. I remember the first time I met him was on my pitch when I went up to Nike. And I think that they were just trying to show me the, the innovative kitchen. That's what they call it, where they come up with all the, the shoes and stuff. And I was just immediately drawn to over his area and his desk and everything that was set up over there. and. You know, I think they were kind of surprised that I was so into him and, and Toby too, his brother. Um, so they just blew me away, it was awesome. So Allison, we'd like to thank you for letting us come in and do a sneak peek with the first lady. <laughs> you will always be the first lady to sneak peek. <laughs> of course, my pleasure. Yeah, definitely. So more sneak peeks coming. Allison Felix, George Kill, NiceKicks.com, holla.